Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? We have been keeping you up to date as best we can on uh, Peyton Watch, Muse. I mean, it's on the rundown, Muse. Come on, Muse. It's on the rundown. Um. All right. So we've been keeping you up to date. And if you have not heard the latest today, it um, I don't think that the Houston Texans have announced this yet, but it appears as though that D'Amico Ryans, the 49ers defensive coordinator, yeah, it has not been formally announced, but it, it appears as though, from all accounts, that D'Amico Ryans is poised to become the head coach of the Houston Texans. Again, not formally done yet, but uh, that's what it's looking like will happen. So if you're scoring at home, of course, um, you had five uh, coaching uh, openings, and if Frank Reich has taken the job in Carolina, it appears that D'Amico Ryans is going to take the job in Houston, which means Denver uh, and Kansas City, most notably, would um I excuse me, can't see in Arizona, excuse me, most notably would remain open. Um enter Larry Fitzgerald, Hall of Fame wide receiver, great former Arizona Cardinal. He was a guest on Arizona Sports Bickley and Marada radio show and stumped for Sean Payton. It's a no brainer. I mean if you really wanna build the foundation for success for, for a very long time. I mean, Sean Payton has done that for quite a while in New Orleans and, and years before then. He's a he is a he's a franchise changing aspect, right? And yeah, he's he's gonna be expensive. But like if you're trying to change, you know, the conversation, he's the guy that, you know, has the ability to do that. I mean Drew Brees turned himself into a Hall of Famer, but under the tutelage of, of Sean Payton, right? Um, in terms of him drafting great talented players, not only drafting them but developing them, right? You know, you hear a lot of people talk about Sean Payton and his ability to develop talent. You know, guys that you haven't heard of from smaller schools, being able to develop those, develop coaches. You know, so he, he checks a lot of boxes, you know, when, when you're talking about somebody who can change the fortunes of an organization. So, um, Larry Fitzgerald stumping for Sean Payton to Arizona. However, Adam Schefter was a guest on the Pat McAfee show and essentially said, yeah, that's not happening. Arizona reached out this morning to Lou Anarumo. So that would tell you that they probably don't believe that they're going to be in a position to close on Sean Payton huh. uh, because they wouldn't be making other calls and reaching out to other candidates at this point in time if that were the case. Now, where they wind up, I don't know. Now, uh, there is a longer clip, about a minute and a half clip, on uh, from Schefter talking about the Broncos' head coaching search. So... Um, Maybe that could be the spot. We'll see. For whatever it's worth, uh, Sean Payton on Sunday, uh, the NFL on Fox, the pregame show, uh, did kind of give a timeline and sort of said, like, it's coming soon that they'll have some finality here. It's been a, a busy week, a great week. We've had a chance to visit with a lot of great owners, a lot of outstanding organizations. They're obviously looking for a reboot. I think with the way the coaching hiring process has changed this year, we're seeing it play out a little longer for these clubs. And I think there's more pressure on everyone who's covering it. And I think it's a good thing because they're allowing teams to get to the right candidates. Uh, I think in the next week, we're going to know a lot more. In the next week, we'll know a lot more. And I, I, my interpretation there is that my interpretation there is that you had to wait for San Francisco's season to end because D'Amico Ryans had become sort of the favorite at two places, Denver and Houston. So you had to wait for the 49ers season to end to see where D'Amico Ryans was going to end up to then see if Sean Payton might end up at the other place. Now, Schefter seemed pretty adamant there that Sean Payton wasn't going to be a candidate in Arizona. Okay, is Denver still in play if D'Amico Ryans goes to Houston, as it appears he will? I'll remind you that that was the prediction that Randy Mueller made on this show a couple of weeks ago. That's been the feeling a lot of people have had, is that Denver would be the best fit. And ownership group, if they 
the wealthiest ownership group in the NFL, looking to make a splash. You invested so much into Russell Wilson a year ago. Get him the right head coach. There's a lot of reasons that makes sense. And we now know what that first round pick is because Denver via the Bradley Chubb trade to Miami via San Francisco has a first rounder that they could send theoretically to New Orleans. It would be the, the 49ers pick, which we now know is slot in with their, their loss yesterday. So see if they can get something done. I, I'll reiterate where my stance is. I want Sean Payton to coach next year. I know there's some of you who are, are taking a, a very tactical approach, which is interesting to say, hey, if Payton goes back and is at Fox for another year, and the Saints stink for another year. Maybe you get Sean Payton back. Maybe, but if you're looking at like probability charts, that feels like less of a certainty or less of a possibility than Sean Payton going and coaching this year and the Saints recouping a first-round pick for Payton or some type of draft capital for Sean Payton, which is really what I want to see. Of course, I'd love to see Sean Payton back, but there's no guarantee that the Saints would move on from Dennis Allen next year after the season. There's no telling what that season would even look like. And I think what I also understand when we look at, at the salary cap and what's happening right now in the NFL, if you missed it today, the NFL did set the salary cap at north of $220 million. Um, the Saints need help against the cap. And the only way they actually get that and, and move toward winning is by hitting on draft picks. And to have a, a roster made up of talented players on rookie deals. That's what they did in 2017. You all know the list from Marshawn Lattimore and Ryan Ramchick and Alvin Kamara and Trey Hendrickson you know, and Marcus uh, Williams. All those players that were on rookie contracts and became the core of your team. Like That's how you were able to do it. To get out of the cap hell. Because you had affordable star players. But once they all have are coming to their second contract, then you had to make decisions, and clearly the Saints have picked wrong. I mean, you're seeing guys like Boston Scott and C.J. Gardner Johnson and Trey Hendrickson, Von Bell, you know, make impactful you know plays and impactful moments here for their new teams. While the Saints sunk a lot of money into Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara, and they brought back you know. Uh, Malcolm Jenkins, and they've, they've, they've just, the Saints have made a lot of bad personnel decisions. They've drafted well. They haven't chosen well on the second round of contracts. So now you got to go draft well again. So give me more draft capital. Uh, that's what I'm hoping happens here. But it, again, appears as though with the latest uh, around Sean Payton that um, Denver might be the uh, the final opportunity unless if, you know, as we saw from Diana Rossini a week ago, there's some mystery team that jumps into the, the sweepstakes late, but we'll just keep following it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact, and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.